This episode of Mud Prince Unboxes was made possible with copies of the game provided by Strictly Limited Games. Limited Run Games isn't the only joint in town, creating tiny physical batches of indie and doujin titles. In this episode of Mud Prince Unboxes, we're taking a look at a pair of games from Strictly Limited. Strictly Limited Games may not have the same brand recognition as an outfit like Limited Run, but that doesn't mean they haven't released some amazing games. One such title, Gundamoniums, really caught our attention having played the Rocket Android releases some time ago in Series 3 of Bullet Heaven, over 180 episodes ago. So how do Strictly Limited releases fare against East Asia Soft and LRG? Let's take a look, starting with Gundamoniums. It's very clear to see that there won't be much to go over with Gundamonium's packaging as compared to the much more robust East Asia Soft Limited editions we've seen so far. Gundamonium's comes in a standard blue PS4 cell case. Its front cover features an image of Gundamonium's main protagonist in an unmistakable Platinum Dispositive style. It's just like any other PS4 game otherwise though. The back cover is where extra art, a small blurb, and a pair of screenshots can be found, but things get a little more interesting here too. This is game number 11 from Strictly Limited, which was a numbered limited release. In this case, we have number 181 of 1800. The PlayStation 4 game information, including number of players, hard disk space, controllers, and so forth are also present here, but this time in German. It supports Vita Remote Play as well. On the inside though, slight disappointment. There is no manual to speak of here, which is kind of a shame given that Platinum Dispositive Sart is a big selling point to their games. A manual could have included a small art section, which would have been pretty decent. What is present though is a small bonus illustration behind the disc that reads, Thank you for your purchase in Japanese. All in all, it's a pretty standard modern release with very few physical bells and whistles, but we're definitely looking forward to digging into the game itself. Tokyo 42 is more of the same, with a typical, but stylish, front cover and all of the same kind of information on the back. This was Strictly Limited's first release, but this one does not have a limited number on the back. The internals are all just the same as well, although this release in specific just is a blank interior. Like all of these kinds of releases, Strictly Limited Games brings previously digital-only games to the physical space in an adequate manner. High quality packaging in line with any normal release makes them fit right in with any library and more releases, even special edition big box runs, are announced all the time. These releases typically also come with a high quality postcard featuring the art from the game that they represent, which is always a nice touch. So Strictly Limited Games is, therefore, definitely worth investing in for those that absolutely need their media physical. And of course, a great number of shooters have been made available over the years. To see what's currently on offer, be sure to swing by StrictlyLimitedGames.com. <laughs> 